One of the world's biggest, most influential scientific conferences takes place tomorrow in the US. It is the American Association for the Advancement of Science. It brings us every year a lot of cutting edge research. This year it's also bringing us an unusual act, a science comedian. She works for NASA. Her name is Kasha Patel. Let's see her in action. And I learned that one out of five millennials think that vaccines cause autism. <laughs> Which to me means one out of five millennials don't know what autism is. <laughs> the Pew Research study uh, also uh, did a survey where 80% of people think that science has improved their lives and their well-being and their eating habits. The other 20% are PhD grad students. <laughs> Okay, so Kasha is now in our studio in Washington, D.C., and I am not your best audience down the line remotely across the Atlantic, Kasha. I'm sorry about that. Um, and I do want to ask you, there is something in you need to have the right audience to appreciate your niche, don't you? You really do. So when I first started doing uh, science jokes, I would do it for the general public, but I found out that they weren't really primed for it. So... Uh, I found an audience that I said, hey, if I did science jokes, would you come? And surprisingly, or I guess not so surprisingly now, because now my shows sell out, uh, they said, yeah, I would come. So when they came, um, they were just eating it up. And a lot of the people who come to my science comedy shows are people in the science field, scientists, science enthusiasts, science writers like myself, who don't normally go to a lot of comedy clubs. So to them, this is a whole new experience uh, to be in the comedy club and to hear science uh, jokes for the first time. It's nice to break out from a stereotype, isn't it? Because when you hear serious science, some people might use the word geek, and the word that goes with geek is sometimes humorless, and that is so not true. I agree, and I'm really glad that you said break out the stereotype because that is one of my goals for my science comedy and also my regular stand-up comedy is people have this idea of what uh, they think you should be, whether it's as a scientist or whatever your cultural background is or educational level. And for science, um, I think that it's really cool uh, because I can give the science joke and with my stuff, I want to make it a little uh, less like, hey, a proton walks into a bar, which are funny jokes, but for me, I wanted to make it more real and authentic, that if it's someone who's not even interested in science, they would listen to me and they felt like, oh yeah, science isn't so scary, I'm laughing at this and I understand it. And that is a, a, a good serious point, isn't it? Because there's a lot of talk about getting uh, students to pick up on science subjects, um, getting them to not feel too daunted by it and in a way you can open up scientific language to other people as well. Yeah, yeah, so I've been asked to perform for adults but also students and students is always very interesting. There's this one STEM conference here in Washington DC that I was performing for and the kids love the jokes as much as the adults and I remember uh, one of the kids just because like you're a comedian up there and they're young and they don't understand like oh, you're a comedian, so you're good at comedy. They kind of thought you were good at everything. So one of the uh, students asked me, can you rap? And I was like, oh, man, another thing I need to learn to add to my repertoire. So he wanted me to be a science rapper also. OK, so you're going to be a science comedian, a science rapper. What else do you want to do? <laughs> Whatever else people will have me. I can be the first science comedian uh, on Mars. I would be OK with that, too. <laughs> and do you think that science that there could be a daily show for science, as it were, that, that this has got a lot of potential? Yeah, so I think the interest is out there, and that's actually, when I started this, uh, people ask me, what do you want out of this? And in my head, like, my dream scenario is to be, like, the host or the producer of a daily show that's all about science because there's such good fodder there. Every day there are new science things that are being reported on, and there are a lot of really interesting, like more in-depth uh, things that you can talk about. And I think there are shows today that do a good job, uh, that really do go and do a nice investigation. But I think to have something like that daily would really increase our scientific literacy, and that would be something that I'd be very interested in doing. Well, Kasha Patel, it's been great talking to you. Good luck with your gig tomorrow. And to our audience, you can always talk to me on Twitter, at BBC about any of our many stories. Thanks very much for being with us.